I'm going to say it, a, a, a small piece, actually a big piece of my adolescence died when you uh, posted the story this morning. And a big piece of my adulthood died, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates are in a dispute. Uh, Daryl Hall has actually sued John Oates. He has gotten a restraining order. Um, and let me try to break. Some, there's a little mystery here about exactly what let, went wrong, but we know. Let me try to break it down. I'll, I'll give you the legal side, and then we're going to talk about the real issue, which is the music side of right. all of this. So this, this file is sealed, but here's what I think is going on. The two of them have been in arbitration privately to work out some dispute they're having. That wasn't resolved, apparently, in arbitration. So Hall went to court and filed in a real courthouse a petition for a restraining order, which he got. And I think what this is about, I don't know for sure, but when they're in arbitration, it would either be about royalties or it would be about Oates's ability to use the songs that they recorded in solo acts. Or use the, the name Hall and Oates or and use promoting, the name Hall and Oates. And right. promoting one right. of his solo shows. And so I think that's what it was, and I think that's why um, a restraining order was issued, which is temporary until a judge can work it out. So I think that's the legal side of it. I think that's what's going on because remember the file yeah. is sealed. But man, but in, it's but in any event, oh, in any event, it seems like maybe we've seen the last of them performing together. Oh yeah, this this is not good. Yeah, this has got to be you know hurting John Oates. So I can't imagine they mend this fence, especially 50 years plus into their career. But this is like your parents telling you they're getting divorced. John, Daryl, stay together for the kids. You know, <laughs> that's what I want to say. <laughs> Uh, this, is, this hurts my yeah, heart. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean... Now, there's a sign about trouble here, and the sign was, um, it surfaced on Bill Maher's Club Random podcast, where Hall was on, and Bill asked him what he thought was just an innocent question about collaboration with Oates. Mm -hmm. Here's what he said. I mean, you have a partner, so it's a little different than... I don't have a partner. You're you not... think John Oates is my partner? You still tour together, don't you? Yeah, but he's not my partner. Well, your he's my business partner. Uh, he's oh, not geez, my well, look what I've stumbled into here. He's, I, not, I, he's I, not my creative partner. Sean and I are brothers, right? We, but we are not creative brothers. We are business partners. We did a lot of stuff. We, we made records called Hall and Oates together, but we do, we, we've always been very separate. And, and it's, it's a really important thing for me. Well, Bill did stumble onto something uh, big yeah, there. Yeah, I think that answers a lot. When he said that, they were probably already in this arbitration that was going on and Wow. But you could feel it. You could feel yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely, like, seems like no love lost there. But you think they would know, because he refers to Oates as his business partner. They both have to know, like, you know, Hall and Oates on a marquee is going to sell a whole lot more tickets than either Daryl Hall or John Oates by yeah. itself. So, a, a, again, at this point, why why mess with it now? This and, is a matter of they've lost and that pride. love and feeling. And, <laughs> Ron so why have the ego now? Like, no, their legend is it. set, their legacy is set. Oh, why? Hold, hold on. on a second. Hold Eric, on. you can just say, so I made a reference to they've lost that love and feeling. You shouldn't he use tried it. to one-up me, and I made the point that they very successfully covered that song. The, yeah, Hall they had a hit version of it in 1980. So. Yeah, but you. Not, not like the Thank Righteous you. Brothers. Come I actually on. learned Eric, the Hall and Oates version it was not, first. It was not bigger than the Righteous Brothers version, no, but yeah, it was one of their hits. <laughs> Well, the Righteous Brothers were in Top Gun, oh. so there. I'm Frankie from the beautiful Rocky Mountains. You know, I listened to these guys growing up, and this is sad. I have to say I'm thinking it's got to be something over royalties. Well, hold on. What's your favorite Hollow Note song? I got to know. Oh, my God. I have many. Um, you got one choice. My list. That's mine. Really? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> mm. What's yours? Sarah Smile. Oh, I love that song. Eric? You Make My Dreams was one of the first dance songs oh, I love at my that wedding. Song so, too. yeah, I mixed it into like a medley that my wife and I danced to that when we got married. Well, all right. Uh, you can't go wrong. They're all good. You throw a yeah, dart at their all catalog good. and you're going to hit a hit. Good. Oh, my God. Listen, the, the holiday mir miracle we need, I was, before I thought it was Kim and Croy settling things. Oh, you went home. I need, need Daryl Hall. Yeah, I agree. It, 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 it's Kim and Croy, whatever. Right. <laughs> 